Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Reggie, and it's a fantastical day because it's time for a cat fruit evolution of the mysterious cat projector, which has on it a face. Yes, we will be evolving this cat projector into the cataphone. True form evolution increases defense and attack. Also slows angels for an even longer period of time, which sounds massively fabulous. And what we are going to do is use our 500,000 XP and click Evolve and use all our cat fruit. The most troublesome of those cat fruits getting being this yellow cat fruit here and evolve him into this mysterious cataphone. So let's have a go. Evolve. What's going to happen to you, sir? The camera on legs. Bang! Look at that. Oh, wow. That's fabulous. Super rare. Cataphone. Making music as it walks around. How fabulous is that? See, it goes from toaster cat to projector cat to cataphone. Like, they are completely different things. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. All, I would say all, all forms of media. But, I mean, a toaster isn't really a form of media. Toasty media. So, melancholy melodies strip enemies of their will to fight before they are struck with sharp notes. Ow! Oh, G! A! Oh, F, F sharp! Oh, duh, no! Might slow angelic enemies area attack. Well, fascinating little cat. We are going to take you into battle. And in first place, we are going to take you is... Marco Po Road, inside of the Silk Road stage. Yes, in fact, the Silk Road stage, which is the latest stage of the Stories of Legend, which I'm on, and I'm finding it incredibly difficult to do. Marco Po Road is especially difficult because there are a million doges and things along those lines which just rip me to shreds even after I've defeated the main boss, which I cannot remember. So what we're going to do is we are going to use this slot that we have equipped ourselves here to go into it and see how we do. I somehow think that it, it won't be like an all angel enemy like this deck is suited to, but we're only scouting, so it's fine. So Marco Po Road, into battle we go. The cat bobs up and down, the black comes across the screen, the black recedes into a beachy scene. I do love a good beach. So, what we have here is an outstretch of sandiness with an unmoving tide as we upgrade our monies and sit around and do nothing. It's a doge! Many doges! Well, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten doges! My oh my, I told you, I told you there were many doges in this level. Doge mania! It's a doge convention, look at that. I mean, of all the conventions to appear in Battle Cats, I suppose the Doge convention is the least worrying. So we're going to bring out our Flying Cat, which is our highest level normal cat at over level 50 in total. And that's going to block Doges with its shootiness. Dark Doges have come on the scene and Gabriel Doges. Now you see what I mean about Doges. Now, this Cataphone will be very useful for defeating these Gabriel Doges because, of course, they are angelic enemies. And look at that! Slowing them, that effect, that is astonishingly good. I thought slowing enemies did a completely different effect from this, but now seeing what the slowing actually looks like, I'm pretty sold. And the recharge time on it is really good. And of course, there's no reason not to say that the cataphone looks fabulous. We're going to deploy our Super Galaxy Cosmo and wait to find out what the boss of this 3 million health base is. As Catman is about to smash into the base, he does, but no boss comes out. Just a million bazillion doges. I'm going to keep up my cat spam so my cats aren't annihilated. Flying Cat's doing a very good job of keeping the doges at bay, I will be honest. Keeping up a surplus of money. Going to upgrade monies once and once again to level 5 there. And do a little bit of cat cannoning. Catman comes down on the base. It's down to 2 million health now, under that in fact. And still no boss has come out. So what it is, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure there is a boss. It isn't just Doges. Yep, it's Bun Bun. Right, okay. Um, I've, I've got the wrong kind of cat man for Bun Bun, but hopefully, hopefully we can we can do something. I'm going to upgrade my monies to max. I still have over 7,000. Less than that now. More than that now. Oh, we're not Bun Bun back. This is good news. As I was talking about money, Bun Bun had things were happening. And look at that. Bun Bun. 
He has got nothing on this massive... Look how many cataphones there are! That's amazing! It's like a melody of cats! The amount of music, it's astonishing! Oh, Super Galaxy Cosmo, whoosh a madush, knocking back floating enemies every time. And hopefully you'll see my old complaint with this level. So many doges, but hopefully... Bun Bun is no trouble at all. I am really, really surprised. Like, Bun Bun was a problem before. My, my cat army is dwindling slightly now, but Catman's still at it. Knocking out Bun Bun there, Super Galaxy Cosmo does. Really ripping into them, ripping into them very nicely here. Doge is gone. Bun Bun not backed again. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is an anti-angel deck, but it's still holding up. This is fantastic. I don't know what that word means. But, but in any case, look, Bun Bun knocked back again by Super Galaxy Cosmo. This is fantastic. But you see my quarrel with this level. The sheer number of doges is unparalleled in anything I've ever seen. It's impossible to counter, but we can get another Catman. We can get another Super Galaxy Cosmo. Can we bring it out? Can we save ourselves from the incoming doges and Bun Bun? Is it too much for my cat spam? Is it too much? The doges, there are so many. Don't get to my base. Oh, wow, that was close. But we still got doges. We still got too many doges. You see how difficult this level is? It's too much. And I'm hoping the cataphone can do splash damage to the Gabriel doges and stop them. But there's still the dark doges. And oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is very bad. I need your advice on how to do this level. But there is Cataphone, very useful cat in fact, being very good at just being a tank. Very good recharge time, can do a lot of stuff, and was really helping against those doges, but I was still overrun and flooded. So I would like your advice on an army to choose, and I will select a kind of maybe a melody of different people's ideas or a strategy from one person. We'll have to see what sort of things come up, and I will give that a go. But before I depart, I'm going to set Cataphone off to the challenge. Into the challenge we go! Battle Cat's pop advertising itself at me right there, and... It's time for some cataphoning. Gonna gonna release this squirrel from its life here from the cat cannon because we want a clear run for our for our cataphone. Cataphone, of course, cheaper in the challenge battle because of the challenge battles chapter one Empire of Catsness, where if you didn't know, everything is cheaper. So also another thing I get asked a lot: How does your cat cannon recharge so quickly? I wonder that myself. It's just the challenge battle; it does that. So that that's a that's a fun fact. It's, it's interesting how it does that, really. And there is Cataphone, throwing its music at them like an absolute boss. Gonna upgrade my monies. Now, when they said sharp notes, they weren't lying. Oh, it's Assassin Bear. He just he just ran straight past my Cataphone. That, you don't do that. That is disrespectful to the Cataphone, I think you'll find. And from now on, I'm not going to use the Cat Cannon except for the second Assassin Bear. We're going to see how much damage this Cataphone really does because, like, he's doing really well. Like, Shy Boy may be a bit of trouble, but no, they're actually standing their ground. And these notes, they doing some damage. Look at that. I I love how inventive the attack of this Cataphone is. I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> the way it literally just, like, shoots quavers and crotchets and other things at them. It's been a long time since I've done music. But the way it shoots different kinds of music at the enemies is fascinating. And the way it explodes in a cloud of smoke. It's fascinating. I love it. And I'll just use my cat cannon when I said I wouldn't. Whatever. <laughs> but the cataphone is brilliant. It's a fantastic cat. It's great. So get yo cat fruit and upgrade this thing because it's brilliant. I love it. And in terms of actually, you know, defeating enemies, which is what you want the cat to do, it's really competent at that as well. Like, those notes do a really, really good amount of damage. And yeah, it, it works really well. I'm gonna bring in Super Galaxy Cosmo, Catman, Juliet Cat, Magic Cat, another Cataphone, Flying Cat, Totem Cat, Craze Tank Cat, Rubber Cat, no, a Razor Cat, and Assassin Bear doesn't even have a chance to get out of the base before we smash it to the ground. And so that is the Cataphone.